This summer at Ithaca College, we continued our quantum levitation project by looking for ways to make it more eye-catching. You may have seen our previous video of the superconductor on a 3 pi Mobius strip, but in this video, we are using a different one so we can add a 3D printed cap to the superconducting puck. The quantum levitator you see here has a very thin YBCO superconductor inside the puck. When submerged in liquid nitrogen around negative 196 degrees Celsius, the superconductor becomes extremely cold, and once it reaches below its critical temperature, we observe that it has zero electrical resistance. This is because electrons in the superconductor couple to form pairs, and current can pass through the material without losing any heat or energy. There are two types of superconductors, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 superconductors exhibit perfect diamagnetism, which means that no magnetic field can exist inside it. It will create a magnetic field in the opposite direction as the external field, which creates opposing magnetic poles and magnetic levitation. The levitating puck here has a type 2 superconductor inside it. These show some diamagnetism and can levitate, but they also expel some magnetic field and allow certain amounts of it to penetrate through their bulk. Our superconductor has a circulating supercurrent around a normal core, which allows it to capture or pin the magnetic field in place. This is what keeps the superconductor attached to the track as it levitates, and it can even suspend underneath the track. To read more, check out the links in the description box below.